Is Aiken, South Carolina worth visiting? I say yes. I fell in love with this small town on a recent visit. They say this is the best small town in the southern U.S. I had two afternoons to explore the town of Aiken. I really wish I had more time. Here in this video, I'm going to share with you a few of the activities I enjoyed during my visit. Hey folks, I am in Aiken, South Carolina this week and I have a couple of days where I get to explore in the evening. So I'm gonna take you around with me, show you some different places. I am gonna take a walk this evening in the Hitchcock Woods. This is one of the largest urban forests in the United States. And this is incredibly beautiful. There's several different entrances around town. Now I am entering the forest well, close to the Wilcox Hotel, which is a very historical hotel here in Aiken. And as you head down the street past the Wilcox, there's something that looks like an entrance to a park. I drove down there and there wasn't anywhere to park. And then there's a very short dirt road down to this small parking area that you see behind me. And we're gonna take a little walk in here, get some exercise, and I'll show you how incredibly beautiful this area is. And hopefully in the next day or so, I'll be able to show you some other really neat areas of town. does say there's a prescribed burn ahead so they are maintaining the forest keeping it healthy the trail is actually sand so it's real soft on your feet I just passed a trail runner and you do have to look out for horse droppings since it's a popular horse riding trail now this sign says devil's backbone You can see right over here where there's a little bit of burning. It's very much under control. There's not too much smoke. And it is a balmy, like 80 degrees this afternoon. This is mid-April. I imagine this is one of the best times of year to be out here in South Carolina. It has been absolutely gorgeous. I never have as much time to sightsee as I'd like. I'm here on other business. So before I turned around and went all the way back to the car, I looked forward and I saw what looked to be a sign. Now I'm not wearing my good glasses, but um, it looks like a cute little entrance to this part of the woods. So I'm gonna walk out here and show you what this entrance looks like. And then every so often they have these little signs up on the trees that designate you know, different areas of the park or the woods, I guess I should call it. The gravel pit, 0.1 miles is probably too far away to read. A pigeon trap loop, 0.3 miles. Tell me a trail, 0.3. So this says this entrance is erected in memory of Francis R. Hitchcock, 1859 to 1926. So I guess it's not Alfred Hitchcock from the scary movies, but Francis Hitchcock. Thank you, Francis, for giving us such a beautiful park. So as you can see here, there are trails that go every which direction around here. So I'm gonna head back and see what else we can find. I'm gonna look for a place to eat in the historic district of Aiken and take a little walk and bring you along with me. Right as I was leaving these woods, I noticed this beautiful historical building up on the hill. This is the Aiken County Historical Museum. This museum is 17,500 square feet, and it sits on a three and a half acre campus. This building is called a Banksia, and it's a former winter colony home. If I mispronounce that, please let me know. This museum has three stories of exhibits. Admission is free. It's closed on Mondays, and the hours are 10 to five Tuesday through Saturday, and two to five on Sundays. Unfortunately, I was in the area after 5 p.m. and I did not get to go inside. After visiting the grounds of the museum, I went back down to Lawrence Street and headed into downtown. This seems to be the main hub here of the downtown area, and there's a couple streets where you can park, and parking appears to be free. So I'm gonna come here in the middle of the road real quick just to show you. This is a wide road with parking spaces on both sides of the roads and shops on either side. It's quite cute. There's some people up there on the patio with their dog. 
hanging out, enjoying. We've got an antique mall right here and some restaurants. Now, I'm gonna go over a block and see if I can find a good place to eat. Now, somewhere in this area was something called the Alley, which actually closes down, and I think on Thursday nights they had live music during the summertime, so I'm not exactly sure which block here is considered the Alley. So each one of these blocks has a little sign, says you got one minute to the pizza joint and the Taj restaurant. So this, it turns out, is a church. I drove by that building earlier, didn't know what it was. It is an Episcopal church. So I think I've walked the opposite direction of where all the restaurants are. I kind of wanted to see what was over here, but since I'm hungry, oh my gosh, there's a little cemetery here. This church, actually, it says it was founded in 1842. Very, very historical structures here. Okay, I'm headed back over in that direction. I'm gonna turn this off for a couple minutes while I walk and then I'll turn you back on when I get to an interesting area. Okay, I'm back on Lawrence Street, which is, I'm about to cross Lawrence Street right here, which is where I parked. I'm gonna go straight ahead over there. To me, that looks like an alley. That looks like where the alley would be. These are all the things I missed that I probably walked right by. Bacon Brewing Company. Unfortunately, looks like this one went out of business. Let's see what this is here. Oh, the mellow mushroom. Pizza stop. The ramen restaurant here, the alley downtown tap room. These are such cute buildings. So that must have been, I'm sure of it, that this was the alley. I heard that that tap room is pretty good. Uh, I might eat there. I'm here by myself, so I might go somewhere a little more food related instead of drinking related. But now right here is a movie theater with water fountains. And I'm just going to go around the block. I can tell you is I feel very safe walking around here. It's very quiet, it's very well maintained, and there's just a good crowd overall. Now we're back down to Park Street. There are places to park all along Park Street as well. Again, everything's free parking. It's really nicely laid out. This place needs reservations. I hear them talking. Look at this little house tucked in here. You can see the architecture here. So beautiful. In the middle of Park Street, there's this nice path. There's trees. It totally looks like a park, so I see why they call it a Park Street. And you got the courthouse. And I don't know what that beautiful white building is there. Here's a dedication to the mayor. Odell Weeks. 
there's something for the equestrian history here of Aiken. And Fred Kavanaugh, the mayor of Aiken. Another mayor, more recently, and a beautiful United States courthouse. Okay, that's the tour of the alley. I'm gonna go get something to eat, and I'll show you more of Aiken a little later. If you're wondering where to find this incredible view, this is located on South Boundary Avenue, not far from the main drag of Whiskey Road. USA Today ranked this as one of the most beautiful streets for a stroll in the country, and I agree. This is a neighborhood area, and it does get a fair amount of traffic, so capturing the perfect picture may take a few tries. Hey folks, this is my last evening in South Carolina, and it might be a rainy one, so I'm making a quick visit here to the Hopeland Gardens here in Aiken. This was a private 14-acre estate that was given to the city of Aiken in 1970, and now it is a public garden, and it is open until 6 p.m. on most evenings, so I'm going to take a look around and see what kind of absolutely beautiful scenery there is here. Another amazing park here in Aiken. garden is the Thoroughbred Racing Hall of Fame Museum. I'm not exactly qualified to tell you anything about horse racing. I, that is not my area of expertise, but I'll take a quick peek in this museum as we walk around the park. I had no idea that Aiken, South Carolina is well known for its long and storied history in the world of horse racing. These were all trained here in Aiken? Yes. They all spent Wow. This town has a number of significant horse training facilities and equestrian events. And here, inside Hopeland Gardens, is a museum dedicated to the sport. This museum features exhibits on the history of Aiken's racing community, including notable horses, trainers, and jockeys who have trained and competed in Aiken. Now the coolest part about this museum is that this is the original home and it was built in 1902. And there was an area downstairs where they used to wash the carriages and that tin ceiling downstairs is also original from 1902. That wall hall of fame, every one of those horses are champions and they all spent time here in Aiken. I wish I knew a little bit more about horse racing to show you, but if you're into that thing, this is a museum that you're gonna definitely wanna check out. Okay, now we're gonna walk around and as you can see around these walls, there's really just a neighborhood. There's some private residences there and then on the other side of that far wall is the main road that we drove down to get here. So I'm going to walk around and looks like the rain kind of stopped which is nice. And did I mention this is free? This is free admission here just as part of the city park. This must be the lady that made it all happen. This lady right here was the donor of the Hopeland Gardens to the citizens of Aiken. This was her winter home, believe it or not. And it says she kept racing stables here and in England. So she was definitely part of the horse racing community. Just look at these trees. So I don't have a map. I'm kind of aimlessly wandering. I'm gonna go see what this little building is right here see what I'm missing and I'm going to attempt to follow the brick path around. Let's see what this says here. Beautiful flowers in bloom. Wouldn't you know it's the garden club? 
it's definitely the perfect spot for the garden club and they even have one of those little library community share library books here as well don't miss in and around this garden house because there are beautiful flowers planted absolutely gorgeous and pansies and we've got these vines that are planted all around here oh this is the dollhouse and it's closed i really wanted to see the dollhouse bummer I just stumbled upon the dollhouse, which is right here at the garden club, and the rain started coming down pretty hard, and I found some shelter right here, along with a couple of nests up above. So I might just hang out here a little bit and let this little patch of rain pass. The rain's coming down pretty heavy. I got here just in time. So while I wait for the rain to pass, I'll tell you that this was a dollhouse that was built for their children to play in. Can you imagine that luxury of having that? This would be a great place to come and visit. It is closed right now, I don't know the hours. There's a bright red cardinal in that tree I'm trying to catch. Do you see it? Oh, it really stands out amongst that green. I wish I had a better zoom camera. Where's it going? So, it does not appear that the rain is going to stop anytime real soon. So, I'm going to continue my tour under the cover of an umbrella. So, we're going to go back down this way. It lightened up just a tad. So, rather than heading back behind me to my vehicle, I'm going to go straight down this path. Now there's somebody's home kind of right in amongst the park right there behind me. I don't want to disturb them, but um, there's a little gazebo and it lightened up for just a moment. Ooh, isn't that pretty? This little gateway. Let's go see what's over here. Now this here is actually overflow parking, even though it looks like there's grass growing. Oh my gosh, look at the bird feeders. There's a little lake or a pond and there are bird feeders up ahead. I'm gonna see if I can get some video of the beautiful birds. And there's like a pond and a fountain, so I am definitely not ready to go yet. I'm telling you folks, I'm like in love with Aiken, South Carolina. This town has so much to offer. If you like nature and beautiful places, this should be on your list. See that white bridge in the distance? I must cross that bridge, but I will cross that bridge when I get there. There's quite a few regular homes sprinkled around in here. There's another one down here. Um, actually, I don't know if that was the ladies' home and these other structures was the dollhouse and of course the horse stables. So this may actually be the property up here ahead. This is an eastern red cedar. Let's see if I can look up without getting the GoPro wet. This is a performing arts stage. They must have concerts here at this stage overlooking the water on the grass. Can you imagine a summer night hanging out in this venue?
just look at this tree behind me here. It's like a little mini fern. The tiniest little fern leaves. That's one of the most exciting things about venturing in nature away from home is that you see all this various plant and animal life that you're not used to seeing where you live. It's one of my favorite things. Now look at these trees. Look at the color on this bark. That is something else brand new to me. Okay folks, at this time I am gonna turn around because the path, the path up ahead is dirt and given the rain is picking up again, I don't wanna get my shoes all muddy. I'm wimping out, plus it's getting a little bit close to quitting time. So I'm gonna wander my way back around the lake and make my way back. I'm sure my backpack is completely soaked because my little umbrella just is not very big. Yes, my GoPro can handle rain and wet, so I'm taking you with me on the way back. I'm going on the other side of the water. Not the best of conditions, but when you only have a few days to travel, you gotta make do with what you got. Ooh, it's coming down. There's a turtle! Right there. Oh, he just went into the water. That turtle got out of the rain too. Woo, it's heavy, 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 heavy. I am soaking wet. My shoes are soaking wet, my backpack's soaking wet. I'm heading home tomorrow. So I'll have to blow dry all my stuff to dry off. Thanks so much for watching the couple of days I had here in Aiken, South Carolina. Hope you can subscribe.